Hello, Gus here, Mixed Digital Marketing. Just wanted to leave a quick video in regards to some SEO strategies to recommend you doing to your website to help you ranking high in Google. So we'll go over three things. First is content, second is backlinks, third are citations. So content is the first two words on the page. In terms of your home page, we recommend 1,000 to 1,500 words. And it's just a sort of service page, we recommend 500 to 750 words. And this is because within Google's algorithm, it can't really determine how nice a website design is. Really, all it can rely upon are going to be the words that are written there. And that's why, especially for your homepage, it's the most important page of your website, and we recommend an abundance of words. Not just any words, the right keywords. But let's take a look at your, your homepage. So here, as I go down, I can see that, I mean, you have a good good amount of content, nice and easy to read. Good linking to some of the other pages here. But there's definitely room to add more more words. Um, there's probably around 500 words or so here. So definitely room to even double the amount of content that, that you have going on. And you may be wondering, okay, well, how do I know what the right keywords are? So we use a program called Ahrefs. Ahrefs allows us to plug, on, plug in any website on the web. It kind of spits out some feedback and rankings for us. So here you can see your rankings in the millions. We're talking about billions of websites on the web. So we really care about everything to the right. Your URL rating is a designation of both your on-site and your off-site SEO, and in particular for your home page. So 10 is not bad, but it's ranking from 0 to 100, so definitely room to improve here. The primary reason why this is so low is because of your domain rating being 0. So your domain rating is purely a ranking of your off-site SEO. So this is driven by the power of your backlinks. So we only have room to go up. Uh, so backlinks are going to be that hyperlink that you find on blog posts or articles that when someone goes and clicks on it, it leads to a different website. So you want to be able to find as many of these as possible for yourself. So that way, because Google's algorithm loves them, it's like another website referring you. It's kind of like one big popularity contest, and we're trying to help make you as popular as possible. And to take, take a step further, we care about referring domains. So this, these are the websites that have backlinks on them. You can have 100 backlinks on one website, but you only get power from that website once. So we want to make sure you find as many of these as possible. And then one step further than that, you want to find do follow referring domains. So not every website has to lend you power. So we want to find the ones that do. And here you can see you have four of seven. But of these four, I'm guessing these websites have very to no power, and that's why you're at zero. So you want to be able to find the stronger the website that lends you power, the stronger your rankings become. And when that happens, you start ranking for more organic keywords and getting more traffic and traffic value. So I typed in landscaping in Google, Colorado. Here, typically, you'll see a Google Guaranteed and Google Ad section at the very top where people are pay paying a premium to be on top of Google. But that only gets about 20% of the volume. That leaves 80% for the rest of the field. 40% comes from the map pack, and another 40% comes from their organic ranking. The number one thing that affects being in the Google My Business section is going to be your, your organic search. So as you can see here, the number one organic business is the landscaping company. They're the number one in the map pack. And so... It's very heavily correlated. The second thing that's going to affect it are going to be your citations. So citations are online directories like Yellow Pages or even your Yelp and Facebook page where you have your business name, address, and phone number listed exactly as you have it set up in Google My Business. And it's very important they match exactly the same or so you won't get proper credit. So we have a different software we use to see how many citations our competitors get and we make sure we at least get double because they're really easy to grab. It just takes a little bit of time. And so here, let's take a look at the landscaping company and see what they got going on, on their website and why they're ranking there. So... Here's their website, as you can see. I mean, the design is nothing special. They have a good amount of pages. And really, they don't have that much content on their home page. So let's see what the software says. So I plugged them in here, and you can see that, okay, they have a UR of 29, but a lot of it is being driven by the fact that they have a really strong offsite SEO being done. So they have 633 backlinks, of which 90, 93 referring domains, and 56 do follow. So that's pretty good. So then of these do follows, then they probably have some good, some strong ones mingled in there. And you can see that they're ranking for 725 organic keywords and getting a lot of traffic and traffic value out of it. So if you apply some offsite SEO to your website, you'll be able to help rank higher in Google. So those are some recommended actions. If you want to learn more about what we can do, please visit www.mixdigitalmarketing.com. Thank you.